All right, I wanted to do a, sh a tutorial on how to enter a particular transponder to your satellite. So what you can do to find the frequencies for the transponder is go right here to this website, linksat.com. You can go to tvrosat.com or whatever, but I'm just going to go here. Say you wanted to enter a transponder on a KU band satellite, and I'll go to Galaxy 19, and I'll just say smile. Yeah, so smiles on 12.53. So if you were, you know, just setting up a receiver and you didn't have it entered in, this is how you could enter it. So the frequency is 12,000 Now it's already entered in, but I'll just give you an idea how to get it on your system. So hit the menu button to go into the satellite receiver. Go to reception. Go to signal finder. So you can see this um, transponder here, it's coming in pretty well. And this is actually on a really small dish. So hopefully if you're doing this, you'll be able to get even better signal quality in the mine. So you can go preferred transponders to or a user defined transponder, say if you wanted to add a transponder. So you can go to any transponder and just enter in the frequency. So for this one, for example, I would enter in one, two, uh, zero, five, three, three, there you go. I know you already see it, so because there's uh, something on that transponder, I'll leave that on auto. Symbol rate is actually the same symbol rate as this one here. So if you actually were to enter the symbol rate wrong, and you wouldn't see anything. So if you enter in the correct symbol rate, which is 2200, the signal should pop up. And you want to make sure your FEC is correct. So that's how you would enter in a, a transponder. Now, if you're trying to get something that's DVB-S2, you'll have more options here there'll be uh, your modulation settings, which could be QPSK, 8PSK. But luckily, this is just simply a DVB-S, S1, I guess. And you just simply would hit the green button, which was scan, and it found 10 items. So as quick as that, it just found all these channels. Pause TV. Actually, that's pretty cool that to know that uh, they switched the, the flag for that. And the interesting thing, or the sad thing about this is, the a channel that used to be on here and appears to be gone off this transponder, which would be CNC World. I'm not seeing that here. So let's come back out of here, back out of here, back out of here. So to find what I just scanned in, so I can kind of look at what's going on there. Um, maybe if I get the green button. Yeah, hit the green button uh, under favorites and just go to last scanned. So this will just go through the menu of the channels that I just scanned in. And it... Now you can fix this. Uh, you see the bars on the screen. You can fix that inside your satellite receiver. Uh, this thing here is just set for that particular setting. And also it's the video capture device I am using at this time. There's a couple of radio services. So when it goes to radio, you'll see like a picture of a radio, a wooden radio with meters and all that. Please check out freesatellitetv.net and also check out the new shop where you can order free satellite TV, LMBs, receivers, and dishes, all sorts of things for your free-to-air needs over at the freesatellitetv.net shop. If you do want to look at the signal quality and get like a better view of what the signal quality is instead of the SNR, that would be where you would go to menu, Go into your setup, go into system, oh, back out of there. Go into reception, and go into signal finder. Now I'll take you right to the transponder that we're, we're currently watching. And so if you're on a motor, or if you're on a, um, or you're trying to set up your dish and you're looking at the signal, but you wanna maybe move the dish or fix the, the skew on the LMB or something like that, this would be a, a good, uh, screen to go on to for adjusting that so to find me on youtube just simply type in robbie strike s-t-r-i-k-e and my smiling face should probably pop up there at my youtube channel when you come to my youtube page you can click on the video tab and see all of the videos i've created on satellite tv shortwave radios and software defined radios and all sorts of really cool awesome technology yeah.
please also come to my website, RobbieStrike.com, and follow me on Facebook. And be my friend if you like this kind of technology stuff. Let's hang out online and we'll do a chat room together and all sorts of cool, nerdy things like that. It'll be lots of fun. Hey, where's the rest of my videos?